Light. Hello everyone, this is Captain Jang and today I'm visiting in a Ulsan um, yeah, Pyongyang Fortress. The military had a quarters in Ulsan was Oh sorry, uh, designation number history sign number yeah, 320 Des designation date July 18th, 1987. Location 216 Dongdong, Jungu, Ulsan. The military headquarters in Ulsan was built as a stone fortress in 1417, the 17th year of the uh, reign of uh, King Taejong of, of the Joseon dynasty. Along the low reach, Maximum height in 45 meters of Hangang Mountain. According to Munjong Shilok, the annals of King Munjong, the fortress wall measured in 3,732 chuck, about it's uh, about 2.1 kilometer, around an 8 chuck, that's 4 meters in height, and had 900. Eight in a brick and a built in a parapet, three chuck high as well, as well as the twenty one hundred defensive platforms and four Ongsang. Ongsang is the barbicans. The, the annals also state that there were eleven wells within the fortress, which were partly surrounded by a U-shaped moat. The annals of oh, and ex excavations have revealed the the fortress wall was about yeah, seven meter wide during the Zhong Yu War. Second, it it was in the second Japanese invasion of Korea in 1597 to 1598. The invaders removed many stones you know, from this fortress and uh, built their own fortress in the area. The section of the fortress wall linking the sides of the north, north gate, west gate and east, east gate was repaired during work started in 2012 by the Cultural Heritage Administration and Jungo Office of Ulsan city. Light. Section of fortress wall between Walsung Canary apartment and East Gate site repaired in 2016. The 200 meter long section which was excavated in 2000 14 was severely damaged during the Imjin and Cheongyu Wars. Japanese invasion of Korea in 1592-98. Due to the construction of modern buildings, most most um, original section, including the platform, has been lost. Some stones are presumed to have been part of the foundations have been found. The moat, which was you know, built in an area about 10 meters low, lower than the section of the wall near the top of the slope, has been preserved in a relatively good condition as 3.6 to 40, uh, 4.2 meter wide and 1.1 to 1.5 meter deep. The moat is uh, U U shaped in cross section and its inner and outer walls were built with stones probably to prevent the collapse of the earth, earth and sand. No traces of wooden sticks used in the construction of moat have been found. During the 2014 excavation survey, part of the fortress wall, a semicircular barbican and moat were found. 
the outer section of the fortress you know, appears you know, to have been repaired on several occasions. It's been rebuilt by the Jung office. I have lived in Ulsan Bomb more than 20 years in my life, but I have never visited in this fortress before. Wow, it's moot. Moat, which was built in an area about 10, 10 meters lower than the section of the world near the top of the slope, has been preserved in relatively good condition. It's 3.6 to 4.2 meter wide and 1.1 to 1.5 meter deep. The moat is U-shaped sh in, uh, in cross section and its inner and Inner and outer walls were built with stones, probably to prevent the collapse, prevent the collapse of earth and sand. No traces of wooden sticks used in the construction of a moat have been found. Parts of the moat wall remained, including three to eight tiers of a stone wall inside that two to three tiers of a stone wall outside. The stone embankment was laid on yellowish, yeah, the yellowish brown weathered and a bed, bed rock to make the moat. Wide flat stones were laid at the bottom inside the embankment and the wall was built, built upon, upon them. Chipped stones you know, were filled in between the uh, slab stones, you know, forming the wall. It appears to have been a dry moat, judging from the lack of any traces of water in it.
a shear, a fortress wall. The section of the fortress wall between Watson Canary apartment and East Gate site was severely damaged during the Indian and Chongyu Wars, Japanese invasion of Korea in 1592-98. But a remaining part of the foundations tells us how the section was built. It appears that the top of the slope was cut off in a L shape. A uh, 5 to 10 centimeter thick layer of yellowish and browns and sandy clay was put at the bottom and wide the flat stones were placed on, on it to create a platform. The spaces between the, between the platform stones were filled with rubble. The remaining wall stones, stones are 2.4 to 2.7 meter in width. In 2016, this section was repaired with Gyeongju Sok stones, which are similar to the original stones in quality, with a height of 1.6 to 2.2 meter. Research has proved that the height of the f fortress wall at the at the time of its construction was about four meters. Yeah, Gyeongju Sok, yeah. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it was repaired in the width in the Gyeongju Sok. Yeah, those are similar stones in the width of the original ones. So we can just uh, find out that all of these, uh, uh, were, most of these parts are were restored uh, very recent years. Right. Uh, It's at the end of the of fortress way. <coughs> oh, and that way. Well, I think you know, it's still they are construct constructing the, the walls of fortress. Yeah. Oh. Is that Oh, here's a here's a why. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Whoa. What a beautiful stone staircase. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> that one. Eastern Gate. <laughs> ah. Oh, I see. It's relatively small, I think. I feel it.
a pioneer to discover yeah. the treasury and promote of the, you know, that tourism asset uh, in Ulsan. Yeah, we are pioneers. <laughs> Yeah. No one did. <laughs> we do. We should all start bangang tower like this. Should we have some more time? Ah. Wow. I yeah, I think you know, we are the the first and the last. Yeah, yeah. Did you bring your business card? My business card, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh! Oh, what's the building? Oh, your Orion Dang. We found a very mysterious sort of the temple. Temple. It looks like it looks like a temple. Yeah. Uh, enough to offer a very comfortable places. Uh, I found that this area, this place is the first traditional style yeah. accommodation ah. built by Ulsan City.
They're all there locked. <laughs> Maybe you can see just one person who is now currently at the management office. Yeah. Maybe he, he or she <laughs> never expect you. Yeah. <laughs> so much <to> come here. <laughs> <laughs> you know that usually there's a brochure uh, once we just uh, picked up yeah. uh, at the Carnegie House. Right. Yeah, there is uh, a brochure that introduces this phrase. Mm. <laughs> Actual reality is no one. <laughs> it's not very much ready. <laughs> but I see it's a I visit now. Yeah. Maybe some people don't know that they are supposed to bring foreign tourists. Hello. Hello. Yeah. We are here with Ulsan Health Team. Yeah. How do we travel here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah, sea cold drinking water in the summer and lukewarm water during the winter season. Sanjan at the sunset was a, a popular place for uh, unmarried ladies to collect water. After the liberation, a United States inf infantry used this well to transport water to places as far as, as, far as the Busan and Daegu. According to, the, to a local bulletin of Mulsan, uh, people commonly refer to Sanjun as a well that spouted 80 suns. One sum is equivalent to 5.12 U.S. bushels of water hourly since the daily volume of the water that we can scoop out of the well is 19.20 suns. It was never dry up. However, this famous well dried up after the development of Pyong, Pyongyang Sanjun Reserve, yeah, reservoir, reservoir in 1967. Then it was eventually buried in the underground and disappeared into history in 1985. Fortunately, an effort to restore the well of the piano in May 2001 to finally give back its life on May 10th, 2002, when the restoration ceremony was held. May 10th, 2002, what, what had of Jungu Ursan? the Sanjun Well Rest Restoration Committee. Alright, thank you for watching my video uh, today. Yeah. See you uh, next time.